uh, a very warm welcome and uh, thank you for taking time uh, to join us tonight on the Librarians World Series for 2017. So please welcome our librarians tonight. So all of you know what librarians do. This is the librarians world after all, but do you know what we do? We don't stamp or chop books anymore. That's like so last century. Anyone? The answer's up there actually. <laughs> yeah, so besides giving talks like this or doing tours, we do a fair bit of research and writing, um, you know, for like Bibliot Asia, which some of you can, we have some issues there, it's free for you to take later, hopefully that's enough. Um, on the right, the left are library books, you can't touch those, you see. <laughs> okay, so we do a lot of um, different things, and I think, um, I've been in the library for many years actually, but over here for four years, but I always tell people that there's never a boring day. We always do something different. Because for people like us who love to read, like to find out about the world, it's just fun. You know, every day you're researching, you're finding out new things. So it's quite fun, and today we actually get to share about music, Singapore music. I don't know that much about Singapore music, but we'll try and we'll learn together. Uh, which is music. Appa Itu music. It's not, that's not by me. That's by uh, Inchek Yusno F. He has been um, a strong, uh, very respected figure in the local music scene, particularly in the Malay music scene. He was a long time president of Perkamus, which is the um, association for Malay musicians and composers and so on. So he's been around for a long time. And since the 50s, he's, he's still around. He's, he's an amazing guy. Uh, he's a songwriter, music advocate. And even he, he wrote. Um, he wrote an article about the development of music, Malay music from the 50s to the 90s. And this was the question he had asked. Apa? Apa is the music? Right? Because, and you can see, he, even he, somebody who was really part of the scene, really had no idea. So how do you define music? And this was within the Malay community. So you can imagine, if they themselves had difficulties trying to define within the community, can you imagine Singapore, the largest Singapore, with its, you know, potpourri of sounds and languages and everything? So therein lay the challenge, really, because where do you start? So I'm actually leaving you more questions and answers, because I have no answers. But I think that's, that's the beauty of it, because all of us come with different um, you know, things to the table. We have our own backgrounds, our own interests in Singapore music, and maybe let that be the starting point. We can go backwards or forwards or do a comparison. And later on, I'll be sharing with you some of the resources that we have, and hopefully that will help you in that discovery of Singapore music. So in terms of music resources, you can come to our floor, which is level 8. Um, that's where we have all the um, social sciences, humanities, and the arts. Um, yep, arts resources are there and magazines as well. If you want a similar type of topic, but in, in uh, Chinese, Malay, and Tamil, you head up to level 9. We have those. And if you want to get hold of uh, non-book versions of, of things like your scores, like your um, CDs, um, what else is there, like posters, ephemera items, right? you can head on to level 11, or rather head up to level 11. That's the uh, Singapore and Southeast Asia collection. So that's where the ephemera items are placed in Singapore music as well. All right, so this is just to give you a sense, you know, how to orient yourself. If you're looking for physical items related to Singapore arts resources. And then the next part of it will be the digital resources that we have. This portal is called NORA, short form for National Online Repository of the Arts. It was set up, I think, about 10, 12 years ago together with the National Arts Council. And it actually has digitized um, items of literary, visual, and performing arts. Quite iconic works um, from our cultural medallion recipients. In fact, we have more than 30 profiles um, from the various uh, CMR winners, you know, cultural medall medallion recipients. We have things like resource guides, interviews, photos, um, some of the digitized like, manuscripts, pictures, and so on. So lots of things. So if you're interested in Singapore arts, this is one place you can visit. All right? And you can access from home. And the next part here is a dedicated portal, also by the National Library, on Singapore music. And to run through this is our music librarian, Joy. Thanks, Sham. Uh, music SG is a non-profit archive set up by the National Library Board to digitize, archive, and provide access to published Singapore music works. And um, we collect content in a variety of formats, including recordings, research articles, biographies, lyrics, scores, and many more. And I'll elaborate more in the next few slides. So, the main objective of this is really part of our nationwide initiative to preserve our heritage, not just books, but also music and arts. So what do we have in Music SG? Uh, this is just a snapshot of our content statistics. We have over 19,000 items in our archive, uh, many of which are recordings, so you can go online, explore, and listen to some music. So now that you have seen the variety of content formats we have, if any of you here 
are musicians and you ever publish music, please look for us and donate your materials to us and we definitely want to put it into Music SG. This is towards the end now, so basically, as I shared, there's lots of things available in the library. Some of them is physical over here, some of them is like in digitized platforms like Nora and Music SG. Um, you can use the online public access catalog. You can get it online. You can just type whatever you want and you can find out which libraries have it, including the National Library. So the URL is up there. And also, if you've got any questions, for instance, if you can't answer anything today, right, please feel free to drop an email to reference point. Okay, and one of us or any of us from the National Library will be happy to answer those questions. And also, the, the URLs for the portals that we showed you earlier, they're up here. Please do look through our collections over there. And thanks again to Joy and uh, Shambini for the uh, awesome presentation. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much, and good everyone. Night.